Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. I know we only did one of these a couple of weeks ago but it is time once again to do the P. Louise budget box. This is October's budget box. I am um, quite excited for this one, I'm not going to lie. I have already opened this because I am impatient. <laughs> so um we've got a couple of things in this one this month the main thing is what i'm really excited about there's a couple of things i think are a bit ridiculous but there's a couple of things that i'm still excited about so let's go for the ridiculous things first um let me just open the packets we have a Bad Bitch Energy lanyard and a fake P. Louise lip oil to clip on it. I think you meant to put your, your bad bitches on here because they've got the clips on. But for me, I work in a, a professional environment. I could not put my work ID on a lanyard that says Bad Bitch Energy on it. I wouldn't have put my college pass on one i wouldn't have put my school pass on one i don't i don't for me this is a little bit tacky and like even like it sort of seems like it's aimed at very young kids but then i wouldn't really want as a parent my child walking around with bad bitch energy you know what i mean you know what i mean just it is tat and i'm not gonna lie it is going in the bin I film this video because I, I do not want it um right okay we have got a packet of these are the mirror magic if you can't see it you can be it wispy lashes these are huge these are definitely going to be for like graphic looks for, even even for me and I am a a lash girly but they're, they're a lot um, especially the bottom pair, they're absolutely huge. But very cute, like the packaging, very nice. We have got a bad bitch. It has been two months since we last received one, so obviously we were due another one. This one, however, is black cherry, so I am excited about this one because that sounds delicious. And hopefully this one's lip oil won't have a weird taste because it's not like a baked good. I find any of the ones that are scented like baked goods just do not taste good they taste gross and then um this is the star of the show there was two palette options a bright colorful one or this one this is the every cloud has a silver lining palette this is huge absolutely huge because they sell on in america there's loads of them that say they're not for use around the eyes but i've never had any trouble with p louise eyeshadows um irritating my eyes they stain sometimes but that's about it um so this is beautiful i'm pretty sure it lights up there's a little like battery what do you do i don't know there's a little like battery pack but there doesn't seem to be anywhere to press unless it lights up when you take this bit off possibly no I don't know. I think it's meant to light up. But basically, this is greys. So this is like some very blue greys. I think I probably would have preferred the rainbow one on first look, but this is definitely something new in my collection. Um, so this is like very, very blue-toned greys. We've then got loads of like greyages um, and like more like greeny greys. I mean, some of these shimmers look so beautiful. And then we have a more like neutrals and some like more brownie greys. I actually think this is a really nice palette. It's not something I would have ever bought for myself. Um, but I think it's really pretty. I'm excited to use it. I think I'm especially excited to use this kind of like greasy, weird greys um, page. But yeah, I'm quite excited to use this. There's loads of really beautiful looking shimmers. Um, I'm excited and I probably will film a video with this at some point, but I've got 
I've still got to, I've just filmed with the Linz Blend Bunny and Glisten bundle. Um, but I've also got to do the Ice Maiden palette from Juicy Moon. I've got Cosmic Brushes Sinister palette to do and I've got both of the new Odin's Eye Christmas palettes to do. So it's probably not gonna be for a while but I will do a video with this one at some point. Um, yeah, the, the palette I think really saved this box. It would have been very like, mm, without the palette in it but I do really love the palette. And I like the fact it's something a bit different, something that pushes me out of my comfort zone. This is tat, this is just tat, but these palettes are probably gonna be about 40 quid. So value wise, with the free three lashes and the bad bitch is really good. I do know we're getting another bad bitch next month, which, why? Um, but I think overall, because of the palette, I'm gonna give this box a 7.6. Definitely not the best one we've had. We've had more like cleverly curated palette boxes where the palette is the main focus, but we've had things that work with the palette. Whereas I feel like it's just like, oh, get the value up, we'll stick in some lashes and a bad bitch. Um, because let's face it, at this point, these must cost about two pounds to, to put together because they just put them in every single box. <laughs> Um, I do hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more from me, hit subscribe. Let me know if you get the box. Which palette did you receive? Did you get the colourful one or did you get the grey one? Are you happy with what you got? Would you rather have had the other one? Let me know in the comments. Um, I will have a look at the colourful one maybe on Black Friday just to see what kind of deal it's on. Um, but yeah, it, let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments. Um, if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a like. If you'd like to see more from me, hit subscribe. And if you want to make sure you never miss another video, hit that bell icon. YouTube will notify you every time I post. I'm actually this year reviewing every single Peel of these budget box I receive um, to let you know whether I think it's worth it or not. You've been fabulous, I've been Cole of the Ball, and I'll see you next time. Bye guys!